Welcome to the Learning Music Hub Musical Instruments. Discover the different devices for producing musical sounds whether it can be an stringed, wind, brass, or a percussive instrument. In Lesson 6, we will be learning about Instruments of the Orchestra Percussion Family If you want to learn about musical instruments quickly, you may always refer to this video and follow on all of our lessons. The percussion family can be found at the rear or back of the orchestra. Percussion is by its nature loud if you are close to it. Putting it at the back of the orchestra does two things. Number one, it allows a bit of space which mellows the sound. Number two, it puts a lot of soft sound absorbers, those are the other members of the orchestra, between the player and the audience. A percussion instrument is a musical instrument that is sounded by being shaped, rattled, beat with a mallet, hit with a stick, or rubbed together. Almost anything can be a percussion instrument. A hammer, a plastic bag, and even a spoon and fork. Some percussion instruments can be tuned to a definite pitch while others are indefinite and do not change pitch. Percussion instruments of the orchestra are divided into two categories. The pitch percussion instruments. Those instruments that produce definite pitch, which are tuned instruments. This includes the chimes, timpani, glockenspiel, xylophone, marimba, vibraphone, sulesta, and piano. The non-pitch percussion instruments. Those instruments that produce an indefinite pitch. Those are untuned instruments. This includes the snare drum, bass drum, cymbals, tambourine, triangle, castanets, maracas, and gong. Now, let's begin to explore the percussion family. The pitch percussion instruments. Number one, chimes. Chimes, also known as tubular bells, are a member of the percussion family, which unlike most percussion instruments, produces a pitch when struck. How is it played? Chimes are played by striking the top edge of the metal tube with rawhide or plastic hammer. The player may control the length of the ring with the damper pedal. Number 2. The timpani. Timpani, also called kettle drums, are instruments from the percussion family that produce a pitch when struck. Most symphony orchestras use three to five timpanis of various sizes. A timpani player may be referred to as a percussionist or a timpanist. How is it played? The timpanist plays the timpani by striking a drum head with a special stick called a timpani mallet. A timpanist must determine how loud to play a note and how long the note should sound. 
To end the sound, the timpanist must place his or her fingers against the drum head while holding the timpani stick with the thumb and index finger. This technique is called muffling or dumping and is an important part of timpani playing. Timpani has a pedal that controls which pitch the drum is on. 30 years ago, the common sizes for timpani diameters were normally 30, 28, 25, and 23 inches. Today, the industry standard is accepted as 32, 29, 26, and 23 inches. Number 3. Glockenspiel Glockenspiel is a German word which means bell play, which is a miniature xylophone with metal bars instead of wood. The percussionist uses hard mallets to play the glockenspiel, which sounds like clear tinkling bells. Number 4. Xylophone Xylophone originally came from Africa and Asia, but has a Greek name that means wood sound. The modern xylophone has a wooden bars or keys arranged like the keys of the piano, which the player hits with a mallet. You can change the quality of the pitch by using the different kinds of mallets, hard or soft and by heating the wooden bars in different ways. Attached to the bottom of the wooden bars are metal tubes called resonators, where the sound vibrates. This gives the xylophone its bright bell-like sound. Number 5. Marimba Marimba is the larger version of xylophone. Yarn mallet heads tend to be softer and are generally recommended for playing the marimba so that the rows with bars are protected. It has a wood or plastic resonators attached to the bottom of the wooden keys or tone bars, which give it a mellower, more rounded sound. Number 6. Vibraphone Vibraphone, also known as vibes or vibra harp, is a percussion instrument that has tuned metal bars and is similar in shape of a xylophone. Chord mallets or rattan shafts mallets are recommended for playing vibraphone. Vibraphone has both metal bars and metal resonators with a small rotating disc inside. The these are attaching to a rod which is turned by an electric motor. Vibraphone's vibrating fans adds a vibrato effect. Listen to the sound when the fan is vertical. Listen to the sound when the fan is horizontal. A damper can be used to stop the vibrations of the tone plates. When you play a sustained note on the vibes and the motor is running, the disc creates vibrato or a wiggly pitch. Number 7. Sulesta The Sulesta looks like a tiny upright piano and sounds a lot like Glockenspiel with its delicate bell-like tone. It is best adapted to light and graceful effects. Sulesas usually have a keyboard of 49 to 65 keys. It consists of a series of small metal bars, and hence is a metallophone with a keyboard and a simplified piano action in which small felt hammers strike the bars. How is it played? You make sound on the sulesta by pressing down on the key with your finger, like a piano, which lifts a hammer inside and strikes a metal bar. You can play many notes at once using both your hands. 
Number 8. Piano Also known as pianoforte, it is the most popular instrument used in the home as well as in the concert stage. How is it played? You make sound on the piano by pressing down on the key with your finger, which lifts a hammer inside and strikes the strings. You can play many notes at once using both your hands. Piano, both as stringed and percussion instrument. Vibrations are initiated by hammers hitting the strings rather than by plucking and by moving a bow across them. You play it by hitting its 88 black and white keys with your fingers, which suggests it belongs in the percussion family. Letter B the non pitch percussion instruments. Number one, snare drum. The snare drum, also known as the side drum, is a small drum with two heads stretched over shell of metal. Snare drums are used to keep the rhythm and make special sounds, such as drum rolls. How is it played? You play the snare drum by hitting the top with the drumsticks, mallets, or brushes. Number 2. Bass Drum Like the double bass, the bass drum is the biggest member of the percussion family and therefore makes the lowest sounds. The bass drum is built like a very large snare drum. Although without the snare, it is also an untuned instrument. How is it played? You play the bass drum by hitting either drum head with sticks that have large soft heads, often covered with sheep skin or felt. It can produce a lot of different sounds from roaring thunder to the softest whispers. Number 3. Cymbals It is consists of two large circular brass plates of equal size made slightly convex so that only the edges will touch together. How is it played? You can play the cymbals either by hitting one cymbal against the other. Or you can use sticks, mallets, or brushes to hit one or both scene box. Number 4. Tambourine A tambourine is a small drum with a metal jingle set into the edges. Both the drum head and the jingles are untuned. How is it played? Tambourine can be played by holding it in one hand, a top, shake, or hit it, usually against your other hand. Number 5. Triangle Triangle is a small metal bar that's bent into the shape of a triangle and makes a ringing sound when you hit it. There are many sizes of triangles, and each one sounds a different pitch. There are 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8 inches. The smaller the triangle size, the higher the sound. The bigger the triangle size, the lower the sound. How is it played? 
triangle is being played by holding it on a string and striking it with a metal beater. Number 6. Castanets Castanets are fun wooden instruments originated from Spain. It is used to punctuate the music with a distinctive clickety clock. Castanets are made of two pieces of wood tied together. How is it played? Castanets are played by holding them with your fingers and click the two pieces of wood together. Castanets in the orchestra are sometimes mounted on a piece of wood and the percussionist plays by hitting them with his or her hands. Number 7. Maracas Maracas originally came from Mexico. They are rattles, often made of gourds, a kind of squash, filled with dried seeds, beads, or even tiny ball bearings that make them rattle. Maracas can also be made of wood or plastic. How is it played? Maracas can be played by holding them in your hands and shake. Number 8. Gong Gong was also known as the Tam Tam, a Chinese origin. It's a very large metal plate that hung suspended from a metal pipe. It looks like similar to a cymbal and is also untuned, but is much larger and has a raised center. How is it played? Gong or tom tom is to be played by hitting the center with a soft mallet. Depending on how hard you hit it, you can make a deafening crash or softest flicker of sound. Take advantage of this best and free music app only here in YouTube. Learning Music Hub, Musical Instrument. An animated approach, made clear and easy to understand. You can possess all these music lessons. Just click like, subscribe, and click on the bell button so that you can always get updated with all of our great music lessons that's coming in your way. Thank you.